Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Waller's Wallet, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at a credit card combination that you just might not know about, but it could actually be useful for some people. Hey, but first, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing you how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So if something that interests you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. Also, consider giving the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel out. Now, Capital One is a bank people either love or they hate. And I've actually recently said that the Venture Card is a better card than the Chase Sapphire Preferred. And what's pretty awesome is that there's data points showing that you can move rewards from your Capital One Saver Card to your Capital One Venture Card. And I think that is actually great as you happen to have both of these credit cards. But then I guess the question would be is, so why would a Venture Card and Saver Card be a good combination of credit cards? First, let's give a quick rundown of the cards. Starting off with the Capital One Saver Card, because that has a bonus of $300 after you spend $3,000 in the first 90 days, and that would be 30,000 Venture Miles. And that means you're gonna earn 4X on dining and entertainment, 2X at grocery stores, and you would even earn 8X on Vivid Seats through May of 2020. Now there is a $95 annual fee, but that is waived in the first year. And since this is a World Elite MasterCard, you get some great benefits like up to $800 in cell phone protection, Lyft credits, Fandango credits, Postmate credits, plus the Saver card gives you a Postmate unlimited membership through December of 2019. Now if you by chance are one of the people grandfathered into the Saver card at no annual fee, then this could be even better for you. Taking a quick look at the Venture Card, the Venture Card has a bonus of 50,000 points after you to spend $3,000 in the first 90 days. You're also gonna earn double points on all purchases, and then you'll earn 10 points per dollar at Hotels.com through January of 2020. And the Venture Card does have a $95 annual fee, but that is waived in the first year. You're also gonna get a TSA PreCheck or a Global Entry Credit, and the Venture Card has 15 different transfer partners, most of which are at a two to 1.5 transfer ratio, and there are a couple at a two to one ratio. Now, when you look at this two card combination, you're gonna be earning 4X on all dining and entertainment, 2X on all purchases, 8X on Vivid Seats, and 10X at Hotels.com. And for a basic setup, this is actually not too bad. Sure, there are better cards out on the market as a whole, but for a two card combination, I don't think this is actually that terrible. And on the low end, you can redeem your rewards the way you want for your travel with your Venture Card and just wipe away the charges at one cent per point, or you can just cash out your saver rewards, which many people might do anyways just for the simplicity of doing so. But since there are data points showing that you can move your rewards from your saver card to your Venture Card, this potentially increases the value for you when you look to use one of their transfer partners. Now this seems to only work when you transfer from the Saver card to the Venture card, not from your Venture card to the Saver card. Because when you're earning 4X per dollar from the Saver card, it's the same thing as earning three airline miles per dollar when you transfer it to your Venture card. And if you're someone who does by chance buy tickets from Vivid Seats, then you would be earning six airline miles per dollar spent there. And you can even stack that with a portal as well. And the Venture Card earning double miles would actually be earning one and a half airline miles per dollar spent on most of their transfer partners. And the Hotel.com 10X would be seven and a half airline miles per dollar spent for your hotel stays with Hotels.com. And those earning rates don't take into account possible transfer bonuses, which we've seen Capital One do. And those seem to be right around 25% giving you a transfer ratio of about two venture miles to about 1.9 airline miles. Now I think it would still be awesome to see Capital One move to a one to one transfer ratio, but this is what we have at the moment. So when we see Capital One giving us a 25% transfer bonus, your Forex categories, they're gonna be 3.75 airline miles per dollar spent, which is actually a pretty solid return. And I mean, if you were to think about the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Freedom Limited combination, that combination while transferring at a one-to-one -one ratio, the Sapphire Reserve earns 3X at most and the Chase Freedom Unlimited is 1.5X. So the Capital One combination here compares pretty well to this combination and I would say it would be a better combination than someone who has the Chase Sapphire preferred and the Chase Freedom Unlimited combination. Now you do want to remember with Capital One, you can only be approved for one credit card every six months and they've also been super stingy as well as of recently. So if you're someone who's been aggressive in opening credit cards, you probably want to avoid this. And while this combination does have an annual fee burden of $190, 
which is not the cheapest, you do get that first year waived. Plus, Capital One has been pretty generous in the past with retention offers to waive the annual fees in future years. So while this might not be the first combination of cards you think of, if you're someone looking for a simplistic rotation, this might not be a bad rotation to consider. And since there are data points showing you can move your saver rewards to the venture card, this actually makes it a pretty interesting combination of cards. And really, for someone who's looking for a pretty simple credit card rotation, doesn't mind learning Capital One's transfer partners and wants the flexibility to book travel their way, I actually think this is a pretty decent combination of cards for some people out there. So tell me, what do you think of a saver and venture combination rotation? Hey, if you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody who might benefit from this video, feel free to share with them. And if you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be using links on the website or in the description below. And if you like learning about credit cards, points, miles, cashback, or just flat out traveling for less, consider the subscribe button down below. Until next time, safe travels. Take care.